case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1892, the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court heard the case Commonwealth v. Ryan, which centered on determining the difference between embezzlement and larceny in a situation where an employee took an item that did not belong to them while under their control for their employer. The case was brought to court after Sullivan, the owner of a liquor store, sent detectives with marked money to make a fake purchase from the defendant, who was his employee. The defendant accepted the payment but did not register the sale, intending to take the marked cash later. The court's decision hinged on whether the defendant was guilty of larceny or embezzlement. The defendant argued that once the money was placed in the cash register drawer, it was in Sullivan's possession, which would make the removal of the cash an act of larceny. Alternatively, they argued that Sullivan's ownership of the money made the offense not an embezzlement. After considering these arguments, the court determined that the defendant was guilty of embezzlement. They overruled the exceptions presented by the defendant and decided not to deviate from existing English decisions or introduce any further distinctions between the two crimes. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.